what's it like to be a buyer in this market? Well, it's terrible. It's, it's the most disgusting. It just sucks. It just sucks. The, what happens is you, you see a house online and you see the price and you call your agent and you say, Hey, I want to go see this house. Okay. So then you go look at the house and then you're at the house and you're like, you know what? This is a great house. I'd really like to make an offer. And you know, the asking price, but you know what? That's got no relation to the sales price whatsoever. So the first question is, is so what are we really looking at here? What's the actual price that this house is going to go for? Okay. And then that's the funny part too, because you never know, never know, have no idea. The whole concept of being able to like, think about how your world works. You're, you, you want to buy a box of cereal. You go to the store and you buy a box of cereal. You go check out, you get the cereal in the real estate world. You go, you get your box of cereal, you go to the checkout counter and they tell you you can't have it. That's what's going on. You've picked what you wanted. You go to the front of the store. You have, you have money that you think that, it's, that you've seen the price. It's marked. Take that and you go. And then it's like, no, you can't have it. You can't have that. And you're like, why not? Well, it's not for us to tell you why, why you can't have it. So you say, well, you know what? I don't want your cereal. I don't, I don't want your house. Screw you. I'll go get a different one. So the next weekend you go back looking at houses. You find another house that you like. You go up to the counter. Same thing happens. You can't have this house. You, what do you mean? My money's no good here? No, it's not. Somebody else's money's better. It's like, what is going on? Now, this happens every single weekend. Now, think about that. How is that in any way positive for the consumer? Okay. And you say, well, you know what? They should just pay more for the cereal. Well, do you go to, the, have you gone to the store and put down the cereal and say, you know what? I know it's marked at this, but I'd like to pay three times more than that. I'd like to pay 30% more than what the price of that cereal says on the shelf. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. It's stupid. It's absolutely stupid. And then you get the appraiser in there and say, well, that, that's, I know you paid that for that cereal, but that's not what we're doing here. You've paid too much for the cereal. The, the lender was only going to pay what, it, what they saw on the shelf. They're only going to pay that price. As if that was even possible to buy it at that, that, that level. It's ridiculous. The market is broken. And you say, well, you're just upset because you lost a house for something. No, I lose houses for people every week. It's not, this is not the first time, okay? I'm just saying the concept. You go, you find a house, you put an offer in on it. Somewhere close to asking, okay? You get the house. That's the normal market. This market, you go, you look, you find the house. And by the way, many of the houses that are coming to market are just crap. I mean, just disgusting piles of mess for the asking price. I mean, they're already inflated. But then you get the joy of paying over asking by God knows how much to get the house. Do you think this can, if you think this can continue, you are a fascinating person. <laughs>